What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and welcome to a really kind of different video for my channel because we're in virtual reality as I'm sure you guys have noticed and we're in VR to have a look at a game or a program called 3D Sunshine and this tool was originally designed if we uh, close this menu to allow you to do this basically you create Minecraft worlds in VR. Really cool, you got tools to do things and you had ways of doing things that were really different to how you could do things in Minecraft and then you could take this whole setup and export it back into Minecraft again and just create worlds like this. Super duper awesome, but as I'm sure you guys are already starting to guess, what these guys are now working on is integration for Space Engineers and Space Engineers Blueprint support. So while this is, and I must warn you guys, a pre 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 alpha implementation of this i've actually got my hands on it because i'm helping them kind of do the change from what's good for minecraft into what's good for space engineers alongside another load of other people they just ask for right, volunteers on reddit and i figured why not give you guys a look at their progress so far because it is crazy cool so if we go into load world as you can see we've also got space engineers blueprints and i had to clear my blueprints out for this but we've got a small selection of blueprints in here that we can take a look at. Now, you might be wondering about these red ones with the exclamation marks. At the moment, there are some limitations. As I said, pre-alpha performance is not great, and more importantly, it can't load small ship blocks. It only does large ship blocks for the time being. But what that does mean is we can, say, load up something like the Partisan here, and hopefully I can show you why this is so damn cool and why I'm kind of excited about not necessarily that this is going to revolutionize Space Engineers building, but it certainly gives us a different way of approaching it. So, there we go. I mean, hello, my friend. The Partisan in three-dimensional VR. That is pretty damn cool. To the point where I can walk around it myself. Admittedly, as you can probably see here, my room space is not that big. So, I'm not going to be doing too much walking around. But what we can do, of course, is just manipulate it in all sorts of other ways. We can move this pedestal that it's on around and do various cool things with it. So if this was a bigger ship, maybe we could have a go at looking inside her, but I have a feeling that nah, there's the interior, but it's gonna look pretty horrible to you guys, I'm sure. So I'm not gonna do too much of that. What we are gonna do, however, is look at some of the tools and some of the ways in which this allows you to build in Space Engineers and build Space Engineers blueprints that are really kind of different. What have we got here? We've got our block library. People will be familiar with a lot of these if we go scrolling through. I have already mentioned to them, uh, and most of these blocks are upside down at the moment, so as you can probably see by that cockpit there, she's upside down. Um, would probably be easier if we could pull them out. Oh, so cute, Deedy little cockpit. If we could pull them out in some way where we could actually see them a bit better, you know, but all work in progress. However, we're not going to start off with this because I don't intend to build something from scratch. You could if you wanted to. You could just like take a block and plop it down and another slightly amusing thing. For some reason, there's physics and gravity in here, which I don't know. I quite enjoy given it's doing space engineers modifications. I feel like this is all very appropriate. <laughs> oh, almost. <laughs> anyway, I should stop messing around and focus a little bit more on what we're doing here. So I want to make some modifications to the Partisan. I think what I want to do is try out what she looks like if she was, I don't know, a bit more longer and heavier armoured and maybe a bit shorter as well. So the inventory is going to be pretty useful for this. Might use the block library. And then over here, we've got really important ones, our toolbox and well, trash a bit less important. But this rewind undo is actually really, really cool. So let's start off by... I might want to get rid of the front end. So we can get some glue on this hand, and on this hand, let's have lime. And all I'm going to do is drag out a box a bit like this and make sure we've got the whole front end covered to, say, there. There you go. So that's dragged it all out. You'll see a bit of weirdness as, as I said, the game's struggling a bit to deal with this number of blocks. It's coming. It's just not there yet. And as you can see, we can now actually sort of highlight this whole thing. It looks like I didn't grab all of it. it. looks like I missed this bit over here. Let's try that again. And make sure you're getting the whole bit. There we go. So now, yeah, now we've got this whole bit here and I can literally just change this to grab. This is sort of grab groups. This is grab individual blocks and pull that front off. Hey friend, and we're gonna put you in our inventory. So she's gonna sit in our inventory library and then we can sort of take a bit of a look at the interior, decide if you wanna, don't wanna change anything there, but what I might do is get the glue again. And there are various tools to kind of help you build in this in ways that you can't normally. Is grab that and then with the line tool on this hand perhaps, drag that out to give us sort of a big turreted undercarriage. And then again with our glue, let's grab that front section there and do the same with an extension. So that's going to fill out 
everything in the side just duplicated are millions of gyros. If you wanted to play gyro minesweeper in 3D, this is certainly an interesting way of doing it. It's also created some kind of interesting angles along there. Let's take a better look. Come down to me, please. Yeah, kind of weird angles. It's a bit strange the way it's kind of see-through. Now, partly that's because my room size is so small that I constantly get a bit too close to the walls. Uh, I might want to turn that off if it was going to play loads of this. But, uh, yeah, that looks all right. You might want to sort of clean up some of these edges. And, of course, what we could then do is just go with our delete tool and just sort of do as you would expect, just rub away some of this. Or you could do what we were doing with, like, the glue tool, drag it out, select that area, or even, I almost forgot about this, same with the delete tool, actually. If you grab the delete tool, you can grab boxes with it and just go, like, oh, we're going to get rid of that lot there. Now, some of the highlighting is a bit weird worth sort of ignoring it, like that sort of whole line there was highlighted. This stuff they're working on, they've actually pointed it out in their own videos. But I think that's kind of okay for now. So let's um, let's get our front end and put it back on again. There's our ooh, long, mean-looking partisan, but I don't think that's quite enough. Let's, uh, let's make our sort of top area a bit more armoured, perhaps. So for this, again... Glue and lines seem to be the really cool things in here. I will show you some of these other tools before we finish, but those two are just enable you to build in such a really different way to normal. So, you know, this whole approach of like, oh, I'm just going to look around, decide what bit I'm going to copy. Hopefully that did actually glue that bit together. It's hard to tell. There we go. And then I can just drag that out and be like, mm, how far do we want to go? Maybe to there. Uh, could also drag it backwards a bit if I wanted. That's interesting. Not sure if I like it or not, but easy enough to correct. The other thing, of course, we could do is find that bit we've got. We'll actually just pull blocks out. Maybe we keep that in our inventory, or maybe we pull it out and fit it on somewhere else. Apologize for my shaking today, by the way. It's clearly had a little bit too much caffeine, and not only that, but I'm not that familiar with VR, and so, I don't know, I'm just still not that comfy with the controllers in comparison to how I could be. Uh, right, this I've put in the wrong place, so if I get the grab group, I can actually pull that back off again and make sure it sticks on. I've also mentioned that I think the um, the snapping should be a little sharper, especially when you're zoomed in like this, or zoomed out like this. That's not actually snapped on, is it? That one is. And... Oh, wrong control. God, I'm terrible. Get out of here. I think what would help is if I was trying to do this a bit bigger like this obviously you've got a bit more fine control about how you do things i do find it quite amusing that you also end up with um this scenario where you've got your toolboxes like intersecting with your designs or like if you want to you can just sort of go and have a peek literally inside that's where the whole vr experience of buildings very very different to what you normally get in space engineers i feel but uh, she's looking vaguely interesting i wonder if there's any way i can tidy up this angle with an existing bit doesn't look like it, so at least this gives me a chance to show you the bit that I think that needs the most work, which is actually just building from the block library, because I'm sure you've noticed, these are kind of, I guess, again, they're kind of the wrong way up. So if I grab one of these out, I'm, I'm all constantly sort of, I feel like I'm fighting to get it the way around I want. I think I should be able to get it on there. Again, if I'm, if I'm intelligent, then I'd be having this much larger and much closer to me, so I could actually manipulate it a bit better. And then, again, once you've got blocks on there, you can obviously just grab them and do funny things with them, or if we wanted to, we could extend that out as a line, make her a bit more aggressive. Feel, whoop, it's a bit poor. Let's try that. Extend you across to there. No. And you sort of get the idea how you can very quickly manipulate a design like this to change it around. Now, it works very much off this idea that you're gonna be using the inventory, which is, kind of different to how you'd normally build in Space Engineers, unless you're one of those guys that does a lot of copy-pasting and a lot of blueprinting, but at the same time is super duper cool. So in order to demonstrate some of these other tools, let's grab our delete tool again, draw out a nice big box now, it's really not going to like this. It's going to like it more and more, the more of the ship I get rid of, of course. And let's bring her back to about there and see if we can't do like a micro version as well. So where are you going to fit on? You're going to fit on... Get you in a sensible place, please. You're going to fit on there? Yeah. 
That looks a bit weird now, so we could do, 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 get rid of that. Maybe we still got a line here. Got a group line, no thank you. Extend that along a bit. Now, it, one thing it doesn't have yet, and I wonder if wonder if this is a good idea or if it's kind of against how the VR approach works. It doesn't have any form of um, symmetry currently, so there's no way of sort of speeding up the symmetrical work by doing all the sides at the same time, unless you sort of work in this sort of perspective. I think the mini one looks kind of cool. There's a few places where we could sort of tidy it up. If I was to perhaps take the line tool through, you can actually do stuff with this that you can't normally. It'll allow you to place blocks where you wouldn't normally be able to. Or we can just drag those out and drag these along. There we go. Spin around for me. Get a big larger. Come down. And I screwed it up and got rid of the ones I needed to drag. Oh well. Close enough, you get the idea. And we've converted ourselves a little partisan. Pretty damn cool, I'm sure you guys will agree. Now, unfortunately at the moment, there is a bit of bug with it where when I load this now blueprint up into Space Engineers, which I can technically do, you can go in here, you can save as, you can write a new name for it and etc. Uh, what it's gonna do is get the blocks the wrong way around. And they're working on that at the moment, but for now it means that I can't actually demonstrate what this looks in Space Engineers. I can perhaps show you a bit of their video demonstrating how it all works. But what I should do to finish up is just, let's um, get our big group delete, get rid of all of this rubbish, and show you what it's like when we're actually starting a new construction from scratch. So we'll just grab, let's grab just a standard grey block, because there's some tools in here that you, you wouldn't expect. Uh, can you actually, I don't think it's on the ground properly yet. Let's get a bit closer to our surface. So. With this, we could now say, put a line out like that, then a line out like that, extend it a bit, and then, and this is where some of the cool options that you just don't have in Space Engineers come in, create ourselves a massive ship interior, perhaps? Now, I'm not actually going to, because that's so large that uh, it's probably gonna cause the whole thing to freak out a bit. Unfortunately, it's, they're working on optimization. They haven't actually done any optimization passes to this yet, so the fact that it works at all is quite nice. Uh, there's a few bits and bobs they could improve, but at the same time, the potential that this offers is so cool. I've had no end of fun just messing around with it, and I can certainly see some of these tools being just awesome as ways of, I don't know, quickly sticking together ships. Now, unfortunately, this seems to not actually be fixed to the floor. I wonder if I can, can I glue you down? That thing, I think I have glued it down. Yes! I figured that out. <laughs> what we could now do, perhaps, is take that and extend it. You know, build ourselves like a full ship interior in really cheapy, cheaty ma manners. Oh, okay. It's not very happy. I have caused it to freak out, and this is going to give me motion sickness super duper quickly. So, you guys get the idea. It's a really cool implement implementation. It's super duper early. Now, Sunshine itself is available already on Steam, but the version on Steam is only there to support Minecraft, really. Uh, this is hopefully coming soon. They did say we could expect something like this to be coming out near the end of January. For now, I think they've got a little way to go, but it's such a cool concept. I can't wait to see them get it right. Well, apparently that fixed it. We've got her back. So at least for the ending, we've not broken her. Goodbye. And I suppose, as it's one of my videos, where are you? Everything upside down is a bit weird. Are you a warhead? You're a warhead. There we go. Unfortunately, they don't blow up, but I can th throw them against the wall. <laughs> Completely unnecessary, but there you go, guys. I think this is pretty damn cool. Just to show you this quickly, what this basically enables you to do is straight up rewind time. And you'll see that your hands and everything are represented, and you just go, mm, cool, that's far enough back, resume building. <laughs> if I wanted to catch the warhead in mid-flight. Pretty damn cool. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. If you did, then please hit like, please hit subscribe. Obviously, please go and check out 3D Sunshine. These guys need a bit of, I don't know, just a bit of feedback, a bit of love. What do you think should be in here? What do you think they can change to make things more intuitive, more usable for an average Space Engineers player? Help us give them some good feedback to make this a really cool little, little tool for us to use if we do happen to be in the position where we can get our hands on some VR kit. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. 
If you did like this video, please hit the like button. Please hit subscribe. It really does help me in the channel out. If you didn't like it, then you know where that dislike button is. It will be... Uh, this will be reversed. Be over there, I think. Throw a warhead at it. <laughs> and otherwise, I'll catch you for the next one. Take it easy, folks.